Imagine a world where financial regulations and corporate actions intertwine in a web of mystery and intrigue. This is the story of the MMTLP fiasco. Our tale unfolds on February 6, 2024, when Gary Gensler, the chair of the Securities Exchange Commission, responds to Congressman Ralph Norman of South Carolina and the over 70 congresspersons who attach their names to a letter demanding answers related to MMTLP. This response was due by the end of January, which makes one wonder about the lack of respect for these 70 plus members of Congress, as none of the questions were answered in a timely manner. As we delve deeper into this quagmire, we arrive at the events of December 9th, 2022, when FINRA U3 halted OTC ticker symbol MMTLP, citing an extraordinary event related to settlement and clearance. The plot thickens as we discover FINRA's insistence that Meta Materials conform to their version of the MMTLP corporate action. The narrative takes an unexpected twist with the introduction of FINRA, Rule 6490, and multiple changes are made, adding layers of confusion to an already complex situation. Just when you think you've got it figured out, you're left asking, wait, what? The same reason FINRA used to U3 halt MMTLP is among the things that FINRA is supposed to check before a corporate action reaches their daily list. This revelation would make anyone question the credibility of the process. As we reach the climax of our story, we are confronted with the burning question, did FINRA lie? According to FINRA, the MMTLP corporate actions that posted to the daily list on December 6th and December 8th, 2022, were consistent, the keyword consistent with the November 23rd announcement from Meta Materials and the information submitted to FINRA in accordance with federal law. But as we dig deeper, we find inconsistencies and discrepancies that challenge this claim. Was FINRA's corporate action truly in line with Meta Materials' announcement? Or was it a crafty manipulation of facts? The final act of our saga is yet to unfold. But one thing is certain, the unravelling of the FINRA MMTLP fiasco promises to be a tale of suspense, intrigue and perhaps deception. Stay tuned.